Hi, everybody. Welcome. We're going to do a demo session today with the belief code. I believe. We'll see. We're going to muscle test and see what's needed. Um, but I'm working today with Rita Giganti. And uh, Rita, hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. Thank you for okay. having me. All right. Good. Um, I'm just going to share the screen uh, so that we you'll be able to see. I've worked with you before, but I never shared the screen. So you didn't see me actually moving through the application. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do that now so you can see that. All right. So awesome. You see that screen there? And yep. here's, your, here's the focus that we're working on. Actually, I'm going to move this down a little bit. Because I think I'm going to keep us up here. Okay. Okay. All right. So you were starting to tell me a little bit about what it is you want to work on. So let's just kind of you know put that together again. Yeah. So for me... Um... I'm still, I, I still feel like I'm not fully free. I feel like the OCD gets in my way when I'm stressed, when I'm really tired, when I'm anxious, when there's something physical going on in the body. So um, I want to see how I can help remedy that. And there's, sometimes I can push through it and I don't give in to, you know, because it's always, oh, if I don't do this, something bad's going to happen. You know, that, that kind of thing. And there's such a... Um, you know, growing up, there was such a belief in that, that sometimes, you know, it's not, I can't walk away from it um, because of that belief. And then sometimes I can walk away for it, from it. And then there are those times where I'm oscillating and it feels like if I don't do it, there's such a belief in it that I could create something anyway. You know, does that make, I don't know if that makes sense. So, so meaning like, you have OCD and, and when it turns on, you're taking control over it not to let it take effect, but sometimes you can't. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying, like if, when it comes up, I'm like, no, I don't need to do that. I'm safe, you know? And then sometimes I do it. It's too, it's like in my head, it's too like nagging me. And so I end up doing it because I feel like if I don't do it, my belief in it is strong enough that I can create something. So I'm trying to break the belief that the OC, and I know in my head that it, it can't stop anything from happening. Like I'm very well aware of that. But when the feeling happens, it overcomes me. And so I don't feel free. You know, I hope this makes sense. Yeah. So what what is the particular, is it all different kinds of things that turn on with the OCD or something specific? Nothing specific. It could be so, something like um, I can't pick out a pair of pants or a shirt or, you know, yeah, something okay. like that. And so you're afraid you're believing in the OCD would have you manifest something you don't want. Right. If you don't go along with the urge or if you silent. Right. If I don't go along with it. And sometimes I don't, and it's okay. Like I can get around it for some reason. I feel strong enough to do it, and other times I don't. Okay, so let me make sure I get it. So it's kind of like if you don't, if you don't give into it, something might occur. Like right. If you if it's that it, strong. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you don't give into it, all right. So anyway. My notes don't matter so much. I just want to have it there for a bit because I'll send you these notes and you'll see it ever uh, again. Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. So you already know you feel you have belief systems around that. So I just want to, let's just take a moment of silence, right? And just calling God, right? Angels, guides, whoever it is that's here mm -hmm. to work with us, right? Work through me, work with you and just release these things that are standing in the way. And I want to make sure that I can test as Rita, Linda. Okay, so I'm so I'm going to muscle test as you. Okay. And we're going to move through this. And I've done body code with you before. Um, yes. So you know, I'm always going right side, left side. Now you can see what I'm doing. Because <laughs> last time I don't think I showed you the screen. No, 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 you didn't. It's okay. interesting. So are we to work with belief code? What would give the most relief? Is it working with belief code today? Yeah. Um, I mean, because there could be physical things in the way. And if there is, we'll be taken to it. Because what happens with the belief code is that I'll, um, I'm going to uncover all these different beliefs. Now, I haven't spoke to you about belief code at all yet, I don't think. So the way we look at the way that Dr. Nelson designed this is like he uses the metaphor of a tree. So you have the leaves and the branches at the top that are like negative programs. 
Then you come into the trunk, limiting beliefs, into the roots, a faulty core belief, and then possibly even into the soil, which is a faulty core identity that occurs between birth and age seven. So sometimes this system goes way back to those early, early years, but they Mm. can be created at any time. And really the timeline doesn't necessarily have to, that's in our mind, right? A timeline, but it's just how these beliefs connected to each other. Right. In those negative programs, it can be one to four beliefs in there. The limiting beliefs, usually one to three. And there's almost always one faulty core uh, belief and maybe an identity, faulty core identity. So you'll see that as we go through it, but there's different types of belief systems. So I'm going to test through and see what type of belief system Then there's the format as to what to look for in that. So when we find all the beliefs, just like in the body code, I have to find associations connected to it, release those energies before we can pull the beliefs out. And when we're doing that, I'll find trapped emotions and it may even take us into body code. So it may take us into something physical. Who knows? Because that's where we'll see it in the body code. Okay. Um, most, you know, we know it's energy, but sometimes it has effect on on your body in a certain way. And so we want to clear that as well. so let's see. So we have a belief system here with this. Yeah. Okay. And uh, is it a basic belief system? No. Is it a split? No. Um, is it tangled? Parallel. I thought it might be. So it's parallel. And how about partial? No. So a parallel. I'm not sure what that, what does parallel mean? Yeah. I'm going to tell you a parallel system is when you have three whole belief systems working together. Oh, So we'll find three, and this could even be inherited, um, but we'll test for that and we'll see. I haven't, I haven't myself come across any inherited ones yet, but I know that that's possible. Um, So a basic belief system goes through that, what I told you, that same thing, right? With the negative programs, like how many of these and all of that in the tree. Uh, If it was split, it was like the tree grew and it split into two trees and you have two sets of those negative programs. Sometimes it's tangled where you had two trees that were grown alongside, um, but the root system, no, the, the root system, the trees grew together, the two trees, so it has two root systems, two trees okay. came from one. So that's finding more of those things. Um, there's something called a partial. So people like you and I usually a lot of times have a partial because we've done a lot of work on ourselves, right? And so it could be we pulled out like a whole bunch of beliefs associated to something that's going on. But when we pulled that tree and all the leaves and the roots and all that out, we left a few logs there, right? A few branches on the ground. So some leaves that are kind of stragglers. A lot of times you'll see that I have that show up in myself a lot. But now we have three. So we may only do one today. We'll see how you feel with that. I I have another client coming up in a little while from now. They could take a half an hour to an hour each, one of these belief systems to pull them out. So we'll just play it by ear. We'll do as much okay. as we can right now, and then we'll take it from that. So I'm just going to write parallel system. Okay. And before we start, I'm just going to ask, is this parallel system inherited? So it's not inherited. So we're going to find the first system. And then you'll get the hang of how this whole thing works after that. So we're going to find the negative programs, and we're going to find the limiting beliefs, faulty core belief, and if there is a faulty core identity and be, and all three of these, you might only have a few beliefs in this one and a lot of beliefs in this one. You don't know, but all three of these will in some way be connected and working together. We have to get the whole thing out to get all of the beliefs related to the issue around the OCD. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll start with the first one and I'm just going to be going through the charts. Oh, and I'll just point out too, um, these correlate with, the chakra, so divine, crown chakra, insight, third eye, communication, throat, love, heart, power, solar plexus, passion, um, sacral, and then the root, survival. And in each Got category, it. there are subcategories. And so, and then there's lists of negative beliefs. There's lists of positive beliefs. So after we're able to pull all the beliefs out, we'll ask if we need to put any replacements in. And then we look for okay. the good ones to replace them that way. So anyway, that's basically what happens here. So let's dive in and see what we can find that will alleviate your experience, what you're dealing with, um, with the OCD. So is there a negative program? Yeah. Uh, Right side, left side, divine. So we're going to look in this divine category. Okay. Uh, To the right, no left. Faith, God, purpose. Okay. Find purpose. 
And then, um, I don't know if you recall, but like with body code, it doesn't always make sense. But mm -hmm. we find that with these, you know, like the things that are connected, you're like, oh, I don't know how that makes any sense, but let's clear the energy, right? And then you get the results from it. But this kind of tells a story as we go through all the beliefs. You could kind of figure out like what it, how it relates. Okay. So it is all subconscious, but you can kind of see like in your experience how these things might make sense. So I look at this in purpose. Okay. And now I'm going to go to the negative belief systems and I'm just going to muscle test through these. So is it in one, two, it's in section three. And don't read them. I don't know if you can even see them. I, I, I can see them, but I can't read them. At this okay, because I don't want to influence the answers at all by reading them. But there's 10 of them. So is it odd? No, it's even. Is it two, four, six, number eight, 10? So we're in eight. And eight says, there's no plan for my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But remember, it's all subconscious stuff, right? Yeah. And even though we might have this plan, we got to get that energy out of there so we can actually fully get into this and, and have it manifest as it should, right? Right. Okay. That's the first one. Is there another one? Yeah. Negative programs. Okay. Um, let's go back to the beginning. All right. So where are we looking now? Uh, right, left, divine insight. Okay. Uh, right side, no, left side, body, defect, illness, no, pain. So we're looking at insight and pain. Hmm. I'll just put these notes here, you know, just so you kind of have an idea what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what areas they came from. Okay. So we'll see what kind of statements we have here. It's only two sections. One, two, section two. And there's only six of those. So is it one, two, three, four, five, six, four? Four is a strong one. The pain never goes away. Hmm. So we are looking at this OCD thing, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see how it all feels at the end. Let's see. Is okay. there, there is another negative program. Okay, good. Let's go find this one. Okay. Uh, this time right side. Okay. Is it power, passion, survival? I could have told you that. <laughs> right side, <laughs> left side. <laughs> victim, survival and victim. Okay. There's a lot of beliefs in this category. Mm -hmm. okay, so survival and victim. Here we go. Negative statements. So we have seven oh, sections. And each one has its own list. Are we looking in, a, in an odd section, even section? Two, four. So section six. Okay, 10 of those uh, odds. It's even two, four, six, eight, ten, two. Two is it. Life is not fair. Hmm. Now, we'll see if you have like a faulty core identity with this, like down into the soil. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you had a lot of stuff going on in your childhood, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, so is there another negative program? There is. And it doesn't have to ever be logical how we pick up these beliefs. We just right. match to this energy and we take it on. Okay, so we have another negative program. Let's find out what this one is. All right. Uh, right side again. Left, no. So it's right. Power, passion, survival. Right side. Okay. Control. Survival and control. Make that note. And let's see what we get. Okay, four sections. One, two, three, four. So section three. Ten of those odds, right? So is it one, three, five, seven, nine, seven? Uh, I don't want to give up control. look at that many different ways. Like, you know, if we don't give up control, then how can we have divine lead us in some ways, right? Or right. maybe it is really, and we we don't have to decode this stuff like we do in the body code. Maybe it is really this OCD thing. Like, you know, maybe in some way, mm -hmm. it gives you control over something, right? Even though well, it, it did when I was young. I right. mean, it, it helped me to survive. Okay. And so, so then we'll get rid of this 
and, and we'll see how that makes a difference, right? So, right. okay, we got all of the negative programs. Yes. So we can, do we have limiting beliefs in this first system? We do. And they're all limiting beliefs. It's just the way that they associate it with this tree analogy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So go here to back to the home. It's really all cool. Right. What are we going to find now? Limiting belief. So is it here to the right, not to the left? Divine insight, communication, love. Okay. Now we're in the love category. Okay. Uh, to the right, no, left. Feelings, family, parents, self. Love and self. So an, another thing I'll, I'll just explain too is like when we look at the negative programs, like okay oh. i don't want to give up control life is not fair the pain never goes away and there's no plan for my life when we get deeper in the limiting beliefs it's like okay why so these uh -huh. kind of more of the story so gotcha let's see what we get here okay I'll make sure i'm in the right place yep okay so are we in section one two three okay and there's 10 again. So is it on even? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eight. 10, uh, I'm not allowed to be happy. Oh. Now, I did a session on myself yesterday. And I had so many of those things come up, which hadn't come up oh. in all the other sessions I gave myself so far. And oh. I'm like, really? You know, you look at yourself right now. You're like, no, I think I'm doing good at being happy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But it's like, all right, the energy's there. I'm going to release it. All Absolutely. Right, so let's find another one. Okay, is there another limiting belief? Yeah. Okay, so to the right, no, to the left. Divine. Okay, let's look in there. Uh, right side, forgiveness, higher self, and success. So we have divine and success. What do we get here? Negative. Section one, two, section two. Eleven. Is it odd? Yep. Okay, so is it one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven? No, nine's the strong one. I have never succeeded. Oh. Um, yeah, so. If you know, well, you have success. Well, could that success be so much bigger if you don't have this thing mm -hmm. of holding, that, holding back from really stepping into it? Okay, so I have never succeeded. All right, is there another limiting? Belief? Okay, so there's only two. There could be three, but there's only two here. Is there another limiting? Belief? Okay, do we have a faulty core belief? Yeah, faulty core belief. Okay, so it's like. So it's like, I've never succeeded. I'm not allowed to be happy. I don't want to give up control. Life is not fair. The pain never goes away. There's no plan for my life. So where did that come from? Uh, on the right. Nope. Left. So divine insight, communication, back to love. Uh, right side. Is it children, others, partner? Nope. Responsibility. So we have love and responsibility. Okay, spelled it wrong. We'll hear that later. Negative statements. All right, so what are we going to find here? Section one, two, three, four. And there's nine. Is it odds even? So is it two, four, six, eight? Um, it's their fault. Meaning I'm blaming somebody. Yeah, it's their fault. Oh. Now, let's see if you have a faulty core identity. Yep. So, I mean, this could be like right. Well, we know it started out in child in ages birth to seven with what we're going to find out next. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's find out now where are we going to find we have the faulty core identity. So, is it here to the right? Nope. To the left in the divine section. Okay. Right, left, faith, God. So, we're divine god oops all right section one two section three ten of them odds so it's even 
uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. I can't stay connected to God. Hmm. So it's something that you picked up somehow, absorbed in that early birth to age seven time, hmm. time frame, and then all the other stuff built built up from there. Okay. And it doesn't have to make sense really, but it kind of tells a little bit of a story. Sure, so, sure. These are all the beliefs we have for this first part of the system. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to know specifically about this whole system? No. Anything about any individual beliefs? No. So I'm just asking that to see if any of this stuff is inherited, but we're not getting it. So now sure. we get rid of all the associations, any energies that are associated to it, that have attached to this belief system. And usually it starts with trapped emotions. Yeah, we have trapped emotions. So. I'm going to just go to uh, the emotion code chart. Okay. You can see them all right there. All right. So let's see what we get. Let's move this up. Okay. So we do have trapped emotion. I'm just going to put TE. Now, is this on the right or the left? So A, B, it's in B. Uh, it's B evens. Two, four, six. So in B6, we have. Subtract so emotion, pride, shame, shock, unworthy, worthless. Trapped emotion of worthless. All right. Is there anything we need to decode, understand, know about this? No. Because sometimes, you know, we have to find out something that occurred. But we don't need to know anything. Okay. So nothing here. All right. So is there, so can we just release that? Yeah. So we're going to release it. So I'm just going to use the magnet and do the three swipes like I, like I do to release anything. Well, within these three systems. Do I have to do anything? No. Nope. You could okay. if you want. You could you could do the swiping if you want also. And you don't oh. need a magnet because your hand has magnetic energy, right? So you can just swipe along with me. And we're just gonna let and you know, I'll just explain that we're we're swiping along the governing meridian, which starts here at tip of your lip, goes all the way down your spine. So just by using the magnet anywhere on that meridian we're dissipating we're dissolving and releasing that energy okay yeah. and then i always like to add a little extra light so let me just ask did we release that yeah and i just you know we're working with god here right so i just ask to send send good energy in there right it's just fun absolutely okay so we release that all right another trapped emotion yes Okay, uh, in A, B, odds, one, B1. Okay, let's move this down. Okay, is it effort unreceived, heartache, insecurity? Okay. And do we need to know any details about where this came about, when it came about, anything like that? No. Uh, is there something else uh, we need to do? So we can just release this. Let's do it. Another three swipes. One. Two, you only need three, but you can just swipe as much as you like. Okay, three, that felt good. <laughs> good. Thank you, thank you, God. All right, add some extra love in there. And we yes. release that. All right, three. Is there another trapped emotion? There it is. You know, um, sometimes we need to know the details. Like it's, it's, if your subconscious mind thinks you need to know, then we'll have to figure something out and muscle test our way through. But when we, when I get a no, just do it. We just swipe and when it's gone, right? You you know everything you need to know. You don't have to bring it to your conscious awareness. <laughs> right, but right. But sometimes you do. I mean, sometimes we do. So we'll just see what happens. All right, so we have a trapped emotion. Is it A, it's B, oh, it's, no, it's evens, two, four, B, six. Okay, are we looking at pride, shame, shock? So we have some trapped shock energy here. Oh. Uh, and is there anything we need to decode and know about this one? No, so we can just release it. So we're going to straight out release the shock energy. Oh, okay. One. Good shiver on that. Two. Okay. Three. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. You felt it? Yeah. You know, I, I sometimes I get these like, I like it's a lot of time, like my body like shakes it off. You know, like a dog shakes energy off, right? Yeah, I no, I, I get that. Yep. yep. Okay, so is there another trapped emotion? Yeah. 
right, so this time, are we looking at A? No, it's B. It's odds. One, three, five. Is it conflict? Create a miscarry. Terror. So now we have some terror. Shocked energy. Do we need any details about how this came about? No. Okay, so let's just release it. Releasing terror. Oh, yep. Yeah. One, two, three. All right. Thank you, God. Oh, that one's a little spinny. Thank you. Add some more love. Good. That's relief. Okay. Another trapped emotion. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm spinning on that one. Another trapped emotion. I'll just write that down. I'm just going to drink something. Sure. Bring myself back in my body there. Another person I work with who knows a lot about mudras, I don't. I don't even, I don't do yoga. But you may know, there's a, there's a hand, mudra, and your hands are like this. But you put it under your rib cage for grounding. So I, I oh. find this brings me right back in, you know, and just, just imagining however I want that I'm really rooted and grounded into the earth. Fully aware, focused, and in the moment. Like really, yeah, that feels better now, right? So now I can focus on what I'm doing. Thank you. Gotcha. All right, so we have another trapped emotion. All right, is it in A? No, it's in B, odds, one, three. Okay, so is it confusion, defensiveness, grief, self-abuse, stubbornness? All right, do we need to know anything about this one? No, we don't. Um, we just release it. Yeah, okay. See, because sometimes these can be inherited too. Two, oh, that felt good. Three, all right, thank you. A little extra love. And okay, that's really good. And if, and if it is inherited, we need to do, you know, 10 swipes because we're releasing from more than just you. Right. So that's released. Okay, do we have another trapped emotion? No, we're done with the trapped emotions. Any other trapped emotions? No. Uh, is there another type of association? Yeah, so we go to the body code. So there is, there's more associations, but... It's not an it's not a trapped emotion. All right, so right side, left side, energy. And we'll probably they're usually in the energy area. Okay, to the right, no, to the left. Post-traumatic offensive mental, mental category. Okay, right side, no, left side, a will to no. So it's a broadcast message, right? And a signal that you're sending out. Oh. That's you know, not supporting you. This is all things that don't support that we want to release. Uh -huh. All right, so we've got six columns. All right, so this broadcast message, will I find it in A, B, C? So it's in B, odds, evens, two, four, six. B, six, let's push that up there. Um, they don't respect me. They don't care. They hate me. They hurt me. Why me? So there's why me energy. So that pulls you right out of your power, right? Oh. Okay, why me? Now, do we need to know where this came about? You know, what happened? What occurred? Anything we need to know about it? No. Okay. And we can just release it. Yeah, we can just release it. I got a yes on that. Okay, good. One, taking away this why me energy. Two, just letting that message go. Three, thank you, God, for pulling that one out. Okay. And a little extra love. All right, so we released that. And there could be more. We'll see. Is there something else? All right, so in body code still, yeah. Oops. Okay, put that back. Okay, this time, right? Nope, left energy circuits toxin. Oh, we got a toxin interfering here. Oh. Okay, let's see what kind. Lots of different types of toxins. It definitely toxin, yeah. Okay. So is it to the right of the chart, the left, the dental, biological, food toxin? No, a drug toxin. Okay. Uh, recreational, pharmaceutical, uh, to the right, to the left, medication. So it's over-the-counter medicine. Could be anything from any time in your life. Uh, well, I'll ask if it's physical or, remote or energetic. It's probably energetic. OTC medication. Is it physical? No. So it's energetic, right? So your body processed out whatever medication this was, right? Could be aspirin. It could be NyQuil. It could be anything, right? So it's energetic. Um, 
Anything we need to know about how this came about? No. So we don't need to know it. We're just going to release it. Okay. Okay, good. One, two, two, three. Yeah, all right, good. So that's released. Yeah. You know, and I'll, and I'll ask, you know, I'm asking as I'm, bef if there's anything else associated to it, usually I don't find anything with that here, like to these body code things. Mm -hmm. uh, so far we're getting release it, release it, release it. Okay, is there something more? No. Okay, so we're done with the associations here. So we got all the associations to this system. Yeah. Okay, good. So now I can pull the beliefs out. So oh, I'm going to go back to belief code. All right, so I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to be swiping the whole time and just asking to pull these things out. And uh, afterwards, then I'll test and see if, it, you know, do you still believe this or not? We'll get a yes or a no. Is it still true for you? But we're going to just pull them all right now. And then we'll see if there's any we need to replace. Sure. Okay. So we'll start with there's no plan for my life, right? So we're just asking God to take that, right? Just sending it to the light, letting it go, releasing it from your entire being, your entire system. Okay, good. Thank you. And now I want to release the pain never goes away. That belief, again, pulling it, sending it to the light. Letting it go, deleting it forevermore. All right, thank you, God. Thank you for that. Okay, good. Now let's move on to life is not fair. I'm going to pull that one, send it to the light. Deleting it and letting it go. All right, good. Thank you, God. Okay, and uh, I don't want to give up control. Let's pull it, delete it, get rid of it, don't need it, don't want it, letting it go. All right, thank you, God. Okay, so now let's release, I'm not allowed to be happy, pulling that belief, always just sending it to the light, letting it dissolve in that beautiful love and light. Thank you, God. Um, I have never succeeded, pulling that one out. Oh, yeah, letting that go. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Okay, thank you, God. And now, um, the belief it's their fault. Okay, let's pull it, send it to the light, give it to God, just releasing it from you. Okay, good, thank you. And now I can't stay connected to God. Okay, let's give that up. Give it to the light, delete it, dissolve it in that light, bring you up. All right, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we got those. All right, so let's just double check them, right? So I'm going to ask, are any of these beliefs true for you? There's no plan for my life? No, okay. The pain never goes away. Life's not fair. Um, I don't want to give up control. I'm not allowed to be happy. I've never succeeded, okay? It's their fault. And I can't stay connected to God, no. So the finger just dissolves, right? I can't even hold it up. So we got all of those. They're all released. Now, okay. we're going to see if we right. need to add any replacements. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. So, are there replacements for any of the beliefs within the system? Yeah. Are there any re uh, replacements for the negative programs? Yeah. So, do we need to replace, there's no plan for my life? No. How about the pain never goes away? No. Life is not fair? Yeah, we're going to replace life is not fair. with um, let me just make this bold so we can pick these out easy okay so where are we going to find this replacement is it on the, it's on the right on the left no it's on the right power it's in power all right uh, right side left side ability comparison expectation performance ability so we have Power and ability. So we're looking for this new one. Oh. All right, what are we going to get there? So now we go to these positive statements. Section one, two, three. Section two, only seven. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Number seven, I accomplish my goals faster 
when I put in more effort. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Pain never goes away. It's being replaced with I accomplish my goals faster than I put in more effort. All right. Well, I mean, the whole topic we're dealing with here is the OCD thing. So we'll just keep mm -hmm. that in mind. All right. So do we also need to read? Well, okay. So let me put that one in first. So we're just going to download that one. Okay. So is, is this, this is the one that we need for this replacement. Yeah. Okay. This is what your subconscious mind is telling us. So let's download now. I, I accomplish my goals faster when I put in more effort. Okay. We're going to take that. We're going to download that into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all dimensions, all timelines, just taking it in everywhere and in every aspect of you, really holding it, walking through your day-to-day -day life, living this new belief. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Good. So we got that. Is this true um, for you? Is this true? I accomplish my goals faster when I put in more effort. Okay, so we got it. Now, do we need to replace, I don't want to give up control? No, we don't have to replace that one. Okay, do we have to replace any of these limiting beliefs? Yeah. Do we have to replace, I'm not allowed to be happy? No. I have never succeeded, so we're going to replace that one. Interesting, because it seems like that other one we just put in would talk to this. Mm. All right, so we're going to replace this. Let me just make this bold. Because you can take like the new beliefs and make a mantra out of it for yourself if you wanted to at the end of it all. So, okay, we're going to replace, I have never succeeded. Yeah. All right. So uh, something to the right, no, to the left, divine. Okay, we're in the divine area. Okay, to the right, to the left, faith, God, divine and God. Let me just mark that. Okay, what are we going to find? Positive statements. Section one, two, three, four. So it's three, ten of them, odds. One, three, five, seven, nine, seven. God loves me as I am. Love it. That's a nice one. God loves me as I am. All right. So let's talk, soak that one into every cell of your being. Mm -hmm. God loves me as I am. We're taking this belief. We're just pulling it into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, planes of existence, dimensions, timelines, everywhere and in every aspect of you. Really just soaking it in, knowing it, owning it, living it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is this true for you? God loves me as I am. Yep. Absolutely. Okay, now, do we need to replace this faulty core belief that it's their fault? No. And do we need to replace the faulty core identity? I can't stay connected to God. Yeah, okay, we're going to replace that one. Okay. All right, so back to the beginning. All right, we're looking for a replacement for I can't stay connected to God. So where would we find it? Is it to the right? No, to the left. Divine, okay. Uh, right, left, faith, God. Purpose, God. All right, divine and God. Positive. Section one, two, three, section four. Eleven of those. Uh, is it odd? Even, two, four, six, eight. 10. God loves me and allows me to learn. Okay. God loves me and allows me to learn. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Let's soak it in. Okay. So just taking that new belief of God loves me and allows me to learn and pulling that into all aspects of you, right? Down into every single cell of your body. The highest and best way 
for you throughout all time, space realities, all timelines, all planes of existence, all dimensions, just really pulling this in and allowing yourself to live it day by day, experience it day by day. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so got that. So is this true for you? God loves me and allows me to learn. Yeah, all right. So we replaced that whole system mm -hmm. um, with I accomplish my goals faster when I put in more effort. God loves me as I am. And um, God loves me and allows me to learn. All right. Got so some of this is all related to the OCD. How? I don't know. I feel a little spinny. Um, but there's something else I like to do that we don't necessarily have to do, but I like to do it all the time anyway. Because they find we replace some of those beliefs. But if we didn't have to replace any of them, your system mm. might feel off while your body adjusts to this new space, right? So mm. I'm just going to keep swiping. I'm going to give you a visual, right? We're just imagining, like, we're looking at this bookshelf, right? And it's full of all these books. Or you could say each book is a belief system, right? They're all there on the shelf. And we just pulled out a whole bunch. So now you've got books falling over. You've got big gaps. It's like a little bit disheveled and messy, right? So we're just going to tidy up all these books, right? So that we can make space for all the new things to want to come in. This easy, smooth openings for this stuff to come in, right? Everything else is organized. All right, good. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we did that. Okay, good. So now, let's just look at the time here. Okay, so it's 4.50. So I know you were a little bit tired starting out, so I don't know if you want to continue to do the next two systems now. Actually, I think I want to let this settle. Let this settle, and then we'll do the next system, you know, next week or something when you're ready. Yeah. How yeah. long do you, how long, like sometimes, should... sometimes I have, a, I can get a, a whole system just comes out within like a half an hour. And sometimes like today we talked a little in the beginning, but it's been like, we didn't start exactly on the hour. So we've probably been doing 40 minutes of this right no, now. No, how many days should, should you go in between or not? Okay. Or... So I'll ask, do we need to wait before we do the next uh, system. No, we don't need to wait because we could do it right now. But we could ask, you know, are there how many days will this particular part of the system take to process through your system? Is it more than five days? No. One, two, three. I usually get like three days on these. I don't know why that is. Um, mm. You you may not feel anything with the processing of these. I haven't I haven't felt anything while I'm processing these things. Okay. And I haven't had other people, but I know that you're really sensitive. And sometimes you do feel things, you know, afterwards, right? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we could do more. Well, you know what? Let's let's end the recording for now because we know we're not going to do more now. So I just want to thank you for letting me record this, right? So we can share sure. it to people so they understand how this works and you know, what it's all about. So anyway, thanks for doing that. <laughs> of course, of course. It's fascinating. And, uh, Oh, yeah. So what did you think of it? Because it's for actually first time for Belief Code with you. I wasn't remembering that. Yeah, I I think the visual really helped. To be able to see moving through it? Yeah. Like now I understand what, you know, when you were saying left, right, you know, what section, all of that. Now, now I, I understand it more than I did when we did the body code. And yet when we did the body code, I could feel everything. Yeah. Um, so this was this was really cool to actually see it because I'm visual. So mm -hmm. it, it helps me to see. And yeah, I, I love it. I think, and I'm not surprised at any of it, you know, like I'm not looking at it going, where did that come from? Yeah. Um, because I know there's so much shit that's, you know, in the subconscious that needs to, you know, rid itself of. So I'm just grateful that there's a system like this. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's not, doesn't feel like it's not doable. That's, that's what I love. Right. That it's possible that this is actually being released from your system. Exactly. Whether you feel it or not, you know? Yeah. It's, you know, I always say it's all about intention and if you're willing and of course you are, cause you're doing it. The intention is there. It's, it's going. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And yeah. and it's even more true because especially with the muscle testing, you could say words 
that are opposite your intention. Your intention is what you're testing. It's always right. intention. Yeah. Right. Um, which is really interesting because I've found sometimes where I'm looking at one side, but I say the wrong word, but I'm testing for that. I'm like, hold on a second. Wait, this side, this side, you know? And right. it's always testing what the actual intention is. That's why I like to keep myself grounded because sometimes you get where you, you know, when your energy expands so much, the focus gets a little bit, this, you know, like a little bit out there, right? So you got to bring yourself sure. back. But sure. whenever that's happened, I noticed that the intention, it went where it was supposed to go, even though my, my words were getting a little clumsy, right? So mm. I retest and I'm like, oh, okay, th just want to make sure that I'm in the right space. Cause I know I just said something opposite to what, to this, right? Right. So, so I'm just proving that it's true. Yeah. You know, what you said about intention. I, I, I see it all the time. Um, Another thing, observation I've had from everybody I've been working on is what's cool about it is that the people who have done a lot of work before, we understand there's more to uncover because we've been accumulating all this stuff. It's like an hour, half an hour of energy healing doesn't just blow it all out. You got to sometimes attack, right. attack from different areas. Absolutely. Yeah. That there's always Absolutely. energy there. And then it's also fun too when you have someone who's never done anything like this and they feel everything, you know, like they don't know what to expect, but they're like, oh my God, what's going on? Yeah, everything. yeah. It's all fun. Yeah. That's why we do what we do, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to end the recording for now. Thanks everybody for watching this and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.